Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and happy Sunday guys. I just realized that it is, and you know what guys, I was thinking of course it's the day before Valentine's Day, but it's Super Bowl Sunday and I don't know how many of you guys are going to see this, but um, I really should have did this like a different day, but we're going to continue on because it is Sunday spending and savings and I want to keep it consistent. Um, so let's get started with the video guys and I'm going to grab my little budget journal and I'm going to flip to February. I'm going to take this money off and we'll get to that in a minute. But I'll show you guys what I spent in a week. I did briefly touch bases on Sunday. Um, the 6th, I spent $28.23 at Etsy. Yeah. I was like, what's that symbol? Etsy. Duh. And I used my Amazon card, which gave me 1% back. Monday, the 7th, I did a little shopping on Amazon, spent $63.55, and I got 3% back because I used the Amazon card. And if you purchase on Amazon, that's what the percentage back is there. Tuesday, I, which was the 8th, I went to Ross, and I spent $26.69 and used my Amazon card, which I got 1% back. I... Um, some of that purchase was Mama Cats, and so my portion of it that I spent on myself was $7.19. So I want to notate that because she'll give me the rest back. And I also went back on Etsy and spent $39.72 and used the Amazon card yet again to get my 1% back. So moving on to Wednesday the 9th, I bought, and she is on YouTube. She's not a budgeter. But she is a YouTuber. Um, my thoughts will probably offend you. It's her channel. And she does a lot of fitness videos and talk about weight loss and healthy living. But she has her own company called Pro Dough Bakery. And they're pro protein donuts. And so I purchased a box of those for $27.80. And of course, I used my Amazon card to go 1% back. Now, I did go back on Etsy for $39.99, and I went through Princess Budgets, and she is actually a YouTuber, and she is on our budget community, and I bought a couple of things from her, and really, this was really a purchase that I did. Um, it was a pre-sale, and so I already had that money budgeted, so I had to finish paying for what I, um, what I purchased, so... Um, the rest of the balance was $39.99, and I used my Amazon card for the 1% back. And I went to Walmart and spent $19.54, and that was, I want to say that was on gas or groceries. I can't remember which one, but I actually used my Walmart card, which gives you 2% back in-store. And I think it was um, groceries, but it was in-store purchase, 2% back. I did use a... Um, Fetch Rewards here also on CBS, which I purchased $10.41 for some products. And um, I went on Fetch and redeemed a $5 Fetch Reward towards CBS. So that's what I use that for. And whenever I do redeem those, I act like I'm paying full price and I take the physical cash and then I apply it towards the mini savings. So that's how I get ahead on that. Um, that way I am saving that money, literally saving that money that I did save. If you guys are not on Fetch Rewards so you don't have any clue on what it is, it's an app that you download and then you scan a copy of your, your receipt and then you get points towards a gift card. Now, what I like to do is whenever I get those gift cards, I act, like I said, I act like I am spending the full amount and then whatever amount that is on the rewards, I actually take out of my account and then I apply it, like I said before, to a mini savings. That way I am saving that money. Um, and I also use Receipt Hog. It's another um, receipt scanning app that you just scan a copy of your receipts and get points towards gift cards. And I'm waiting to use that one at the end of the year towards Christmas. So um, I'm probably around maybe birthday or Christmas. I'm going to use my Fetch Rewards. I mean, not Fetch, Receipt Hog. Um, any of my affiliate links, and I do have affiliate links for Fetch and Receipt Hog. I always put them in the description box below and you guys have been using them and thank you everybody that has signed up with my affiliate links because whenever you, you sign up with those you get points and I get points too towards gift cards so thank you and also I use Rakuten and that is an app that you download 
and then you pick whatever store you want to shop from and right off the bat it will tell you the percentage that you will save once you click on that store and then you do your shopping and you get money back so any of those ways that i actually use myself to save money i will always link them in the description box below below they are affiliate links and if you decide to use those then you get points and i get points as well so um just check those out on every video i do link those now moving back to the budget binder thursday the 10th i went back on etsy and spent 66.78 and this was hands and bands she is a youtuber here and she is in our in our budget community so if you want to check her um, site out in her channel then please do so as well so um, I decided to um, shop through Princess Budgets and Hands and Bands because they are in our budget community and I consider that as part as my giving um, because I feel like you need to support other businesses and also support people in our channel and um, our community as well as far as fellow budgeters so we all have to band together and help each other out so I purchased some things through her shop and these were um, some new scratch offs that she had. And so I will incorporate those in my videos too. And I used my 1% back on my Amazon card to get some more money off of that transaction. Moving on to Friday, the 11th, I went to, um, I want to say Walmart so bad, McDonald's. And I don't know why I want to say Walmart, but I went to McDonald's and spent $7.29 and I used a, um, I did the survey on the receipt and I got some cash back off of there. So that is the money that you saw when I was pulling it out of my binder. So we will get out of the binder because that's all I spent in the week. And we will move on to the money. So this is the money that I was talking about that um, I redeemed $5 for the CBS. And so this should be five ones. So that is one, two, one, two three, four, five. And I'm going to take this off and let me grab spirit so i'm going to apply this to one of my mini challenges because i did actually save that money so let's go in here and see what we can do okay so that is five i can't do mother's day and i need to guys you have to remind me to i'm very bad at remembering certain um challenges i'm doing i don't know why but i really got to bump this up because i haven't done anything for february so um moving on because we're not going to do that I don't think I'm going to put any in the kids challenge today, but I will get back to that one. Bingo is a separate game, so that's not that. And then this is going to be a completely different game for game night. But you guys will have to wait and see on Friday for Friday game night to see what that was about. So let me cover that up. And we'll go into Angel Baby because I'm going to do this challenge right here. And let's see. I'm going to just cover that with the money so you guys can't see what that is. Okay, so we're going to go into Rainy Day Fun. So I wanted to go ahead and start this before, but I was trying to apply money to other challenges. So I didn't want to start this one quite yet. This is a Budget by Cat Mini Challenge. And so I'm going to move Spirit over. And I have five here. One, two, three, four, five. So that will be the first five to go to my Rainy Day Fun. Each one of my rainbows, I have designated it to be $5. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one. So let me grab, you know, let me grab my binder because I think I'm going to use this to color this in over it just in case it bleeds through. So I'm going to color this one in. If you guys are doing any challenges, um, I'm just curious, how is it going for you? Uh, like I previously said, I tend to forget some of my challenges. I don't know if I'm doing too many at one time, and that's why I'm not keeping up with it. Not sure, but sometimes I forget about certain ones, and so I struggle with trying to give money to everything. And I know a lot of it, too, is because I'm on a low income, and so I really only have a certain amount to give. Oh, no, I was about to do blue again. Now, let's do another color. Um, I did orange. Let's do pink. So, that's my problem. And so, I'm trying to remedy that as far as trying to get another job. So, I can have more of the spread around. So, you guys normally see whenever I'm doing a challenge that I'm doing it with dollars or $5 or, you know, something small because 
I don't have a lot. So those larger um, challenges that I do are kind of a struggle sometimes, but I don't really want that to deter me from doing them. So, so I have my first five here and I have my five ones. I'm just going to stick that back. There we go. Let's stick the ones back in here. And then I'm going to put the little sheet on the back so you can see it through it, through the envelope. And there we go. That's my five down. And this is just if I have anything that comes up that is a mini emergency that, you know, you don't want to dig into your full emergency fund. But anything small like, um, let's say I ran out of something for the house and I don't have enough in household that I can get some household items or um, I need a new charger for my phone or something like that. Something like really small and petty, but you do have the money for it. You don't have to go into the bigger um, emergency fund to do that. So that is that one right there. So now moving on to the McDonald's money. So this should be $6. And um, anytime you get receipts, make sure, guys, that you check out your receipts to make sure they don't offer some free food or money back or something like that. Um, I do encourage you guys, if you don't have fetch, if you don't have fetch or receipt hog, to sign up for those affiliate links, um, so you can be getting more money back on your purchases. And also, Rakuten, if you are going to make a purchase, then you know use any of those links that will give you some of that money back, and that way you can you know, put that money towards something you really need. Now, um, also too, because I always try to encourage you guys, even if you don't use my links and you sign up anyway, just to remember to scan your receipts. But also too, when you scan those, look at those receipts because sometimes you get free stuff back. So this is from McDonald's, so it should be six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And they offer free food and that's why I have that money back. And I'm going to go back into spirit and let's see. Let's see where I'm going to put this money at because the other one I kind of knew I wanted to start that challenge. But this money, I think I'm going to divide up. And so I'm going to go into, I'm not going to put it in my rainy day, but I am going to probably go into the Christmas challenge. So let's see what we have in here. Okay, so I have one, two, five. Now I don't want to use my whole um, amount here. So maybe I will do, I'll do two. So let's see, I'll take two out of that six and add it to the Christmas. And this is for our Christmas money and some presents under the tree. So that's where this Christmas challenge is going. Let me find my green marker and then I'll mark off two off of here. It's easier to do the ones, of course, than the two. So I'm going to go ahead and knock off a two. There we go. So we have that one. And right now in Christmas challenge, I have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So I have $19 out of the $300 that this challenge is for. So I will put this one back. And let's see. I know I can't do the $1,000 because that starts at off at five and so I think really I'm not going to worry about the thousand right now but I will finish up with the 500 and then move on to the thousand so let me go into the 500 savings challenge and this is day designs co I believe is the um, Etsy shop and I think her channel is mama Brit if I'm not mistaken but um, that's this challenge here and I can do two off of here oh you know what i think i'm gonna do three because i have three left is that no i have four left huh okay 
I have four left. Let me do just two. Let me do two in this one. So I grab two. And let me grab a pink marker here. And these are just dry erase markers I'm using. I hate trying to use the um, permanent marker because I can't ever get those off. And so dry erase seems to work out a little bit better for me. So there's two there. And right now in the 500 savings challenge I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I have eleven there. Okay, so we have that one. And let me grab Trudy because I think I'm going to put the $2 in Trudy. I think that's where I want to give you that last two up from. So if you guys hold on one second, I'm going to grab her. All right, guys, we have Trudy here. And so let's go in here and see which one I can do. So I'm thinking I'm going to put this towards Mama Cat's deck. Now, Trudy is my mom's binder. And if you are new and you don't know who Mama Cat is, that's my mom. And so um, this is her binder. And so I'm going to go into debt because sometimes she will owe for a medical bill that will come in. And so I do have a two that I can mark off here. And I think that's where the money is going to go. So let's go in here and grab that one. So let me grab a marker. We'll color this one orange. How about that? Yet again, these are dry erase that I am coloring with. So if you cannot find your regular markers, then and you have dry erase available, they work just the same on paper as they do on the erasable boards. And that's as good as I can get that one. And let's go and do a, we'll do a blue heart. Kind of helps to trace it out first and then color in. Makes it look a little bit neater. So there we go. And here's our last two of the 11 that I had to stretch. And so right now I have one, two, and three towards the deck. And you guys know if you have anything done as far as medical is concerned, you get about 10,000 different bills from 10,000 different people. And so... It's good to have some money saved back for that. So when you get those unexpected bills that linger years later. I don't want to say years later, but you know what I mean. When they, whenever they decide to send you a bill, you have that money. It's not sneaking up on you. And so there we go. And that was in her debt envelope. So I will close up Trudy here. And that is it for today, guys. So if you enjoy these videos, make sure you give them a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and bell. And you will notify the next time I upload a video. I do owe you guys a budget with me and it will be up momentarily. But until then, I love you guys. Take care of yourselves and each other. Be kind to one another. And thank you for all the love and support that you've given me. I will see you guys later. Bye.